All right, one of ZZ Top's greatest albums, certainly, is 1973's Trace Hombres, which included the song LaGrange, among a bunch of other great songs like Jesus Just Left Chicago and Waiting for the Bus. So LaGrange, that classic John Lee Hooker style boogie, which is the little, along the lines of what you heard at the opening of this lesson, um, that's just a signature of ZZ Top, and LaGrange is certainly one of the most well-known tunes. So I'm gonna play an example now. It's in that style of that John Lee Hooker boogie working off uh, an A5 in second position. So for this part, I'm using the pick to sound the palm unit open A's, but I'm finger picking um, the D and G string for the, the notes at the fifth fret and alternating like that. So that little melody, five, five, two, five, two, is always against that A pedal. Try to put a nice vibrato on that A. So that's the basic rhythm part for the whole song. In the first verse, he starts very quiet, so it's a clean tone. And then he turns up and plays similar riff with a lot of distortion. When they get to the guitar solo, they modulate up a step and a half to C, so I'm gonna play rhythm part now, played in that same boogie rhythm pattern, but in the key of C. All right, for this rhythm part, I start here, third fret, C5, root, fifth root. But when I play E flat, 5, and F5, I switch to chords that have the fifth and the bass. So now the bar goes across first fret of the fifth and fourth string, and then pinky third fret. So that's E flat 5. It's just a really great way to get a full sounding power chord. But the second half of the riff, B flat five, so it's the same as C five, down a whole step, and then G five like that. And you can see, I'm using my index and pinky, it's just the most comfortable, but some people prefer. Using their index and ring, whatever you like better. It's just nice to get that. At the end of it, it's very powerful sounding. The solo starts in C minor pentatonic. I'm in eighth position. But when I get down to here, I'm going to slide down and use sixth position. So I begin just with this whole step bend of B flat up to C. Put a nice big vibrato on it. And then I use this descending triplet figure. So like that. So what I want to do is after the first two, you want to use that wide fingering of just index and ring. But for the third one, you have to include a quick slide down from 11 to 10 on the G string. And then you continue. So that's just a nice way to have the melody continue. And then I can end up on that low E flat. And then I switch to this quarter note triplet. 
And that riff is played. And that riff is played four times. So that first one is coming at the end of the other bar. So from there it would be three. One, two, three. And that's how I wrap up the end of the solo. So I'm going to come out of the. So another one of these ring fingers slide down with a pull off. And you also want uh, everything, even the eighth notes, they're played with a triplet feel. So you really want it to. swing and feel to make it sound right.